Man, what going on with y'all, man? What's happening with y'all? How you feel? How you doing? It's your boy, Cardo. Back at it again. With another video. It ain't just me. I got slicing dice gang. Oh, we be slicing. We be dicing. With the scriptures. Every video, right? Come on, y'all. We all made it to another day. We all here. So since that's a fact, how about we smash the like button? Easy work. And it don't cost you a dime. Follow me on my socials too. Link in the description below. And subscribe. You won't be disappointed. It's lit over here. Literally. We are the light. Nothing but positive energy. Positive good vibes. That's how we get down over here on this side, man. Let's do something else. Y'all know what's coming. Some of y'all do. Let me give you a hint if you don't. We do this every time we wake up. Because the most high God didn't have to do it. But the thing is, he did. So let's. Thank the most high. That's our almighty heavenly father. Why we doing this, y'all? For allowing us to be here. Today, you feel me? Let's be thankful. Let me talk that talk now. Let me talk that talk. Slice and dice game, y'all already know what's up. Y'all sharpen the swords. Y'all know how we get down. But it's possible that you may be tuning in for the first time. You might be seeing Cardo TV for the first time. You might subscribe today. It's only fair I'll let you know what you in for if you make that decision. It's only right. Listen to me real quick, man. If you subscribe to Cardo TV and join Slice and Night Gang, of course, you got to get yourself a sword as well. Can't be out here lacking. How you going to join Slice and Dice Gang and you ain't got nothing to slice and dice with? That ain't smart. Got to get yourself a Bible, man. Also, you ready to repent. But you ready to make repentance a lifestyle. Obeying the Most High God because he gave us law, statutes, and commandments. Do you know? When I say the Most High God... I'm talking about one. It's only one true God out here. We only serve one over here. That's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the God of Israel. That's the same true God of the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shout out to the King of all kings. Shout out to the plug to everlasting life. Shout out to the big homie, JC. You understand me? Also, you ready to grow spiritually because it ain't nothing else like that spiritual growth. That's the real blessing. Facts. Also, you ready to continue to keep your faith strong. Strong, strong. Ten toes strong. All the way until the end. I'm talking about standing on business, that unwavering faith. You feel me? Also, you ready to continue being a light out here. Using your gifts and talents, serving people, making this world better, more positive, being that light as we are over here. You hear all of those things? You, do you hear it? Do you hear what I said? If it sound good to you, stop playing games and come on over here and join Slice and Dice Gang Bars. Now, welcome to Cardo TV. So glad everybody can make it today. I hope everybody's weekend is going good. Yes, sir, I do. Now, today, y'all, we talking about keeping a balance. You know what I'm saying? Be between serving people and you not neglecting yourself in a relationship with God. You got to have a balance, y'all. Putting people first, but without people pleasing. Putting people first, but we don't people please. We got to have a balance. You can't neglect yourself. You cannot neglect your, your relationship with God as well when it comes to doing these things. We are called to help. We call to serve each other, to love each other. Most definitely, but there has to be balance. And we're going to get into it, man. It, this video was suggested. I told you I had you. Told you I got y'all, man. If y'all got suggestions, put them in the comments. I'm here for y'all. You understand? 
So yeah, forget the sores back out. We finna talk that talk, man. We finna get it in. We about to slice and dice. Let me roll these windows down. It is hot out chill. Y'all ready, man? I'm ready. We finna get it in. All right. Let's bring out Galatians. It tells us, For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I was still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Hmm. We got to understand, y'all, that pleasing God should always be priority. Pleasing God, that's, that's your number one priority, right? While it is important to serve and love other people, Ultimately, our focus should be on pleasing God above anything else. Right? That's who we please. We are here to help, to love, show love, do these acts of kindness using our gifts and talents. Everything goes back to the glory of God, though. Right? We always show God the glory. We doing these things to show him love for real, for real. Right? Being obedient. To what he's telling us to do because y'all we all got a purpose here most definitely your purpose i'm gonna tell you it does require you helping people sometimes you may have to put people before yourself but don't don't get it twisted don't try to continuously waste all of your energy trying to please these people that's not your job to please them you want to please god you're being obedient to him right that be the thing. Some people be trying to please everybody. And then it don't really go the way they expect it. You can't please everybody. It's not going to work. You're not going to please everybody. You're not going to be able to do that. So just focus on pleasing God. Right? That's all you got to focus on. Pleasing God. And then everything is going to play out. If you're using your gifts and talents every day, right? That's why every video, y'all, I tell y'all, you want to continue using your gifts and talents, serving people, making this world better, more positive, because that's what you're doing. I told y'all this in my previous video that no matter what your purpose is, no matter what gifts and talents you may have, it's not too small. Every act of kindness, everything that you do, y'all, it goes a long way. Right. That's how you got to think about it. You're changing the world. And God brought you here to do that. But we all different, though. We all different. So we all got a different path. We all got a different purpose. So never compare yourself to how somebody else is doing it. That's where some people fall short as well. Right. If God wanted us to compare ourselves to how other people live in their life, he would have easily made us the same. He would have just made us the same, but he didn't. And he did that for a reason. Focus on your purpose. Focus on what you can bring to the table. Right? And then you're going to be blessed. God is going to bless you. You will be rewarded for this. Most definitely. All this work you do, it's not going to be in vain. But remember, you have to keep a balance. And when you're doing that, don't do it to try to please people. Because you're not going to be able to please everybody. Facts. It's not going to work. You just want to Make the most high God proud. After this life, you want to hear the most God say, good job, well done, my good and faithful servant. Because you was out here serving. You did what you had to do every day. You wasn't being lazy. You wasn't being afraid. We ain't got no spirit of fear. God didn't give us that, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Do you hear me? I say, do you hear me? Let's bring another scripture out. It tells us in 1 Corinthians. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Whom you have from God, you are not your own. For we were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. So the second point I want to talk about, y'all, is you got to set boundaries. It's all about balance. You got to set boundaries and prioritize self-care. It is important to take care of yourself. Physically, emotionally, and spiritually. In order for you to be able to to even serve other people effectively, right? So it's all about, you know, you putting people before yourself, but not trying to people please. 
You're not going to be able to do that if you're not taking care of yourself. How are you going to take care of somebody if you're not taking care of yourself? That don't make sense. So you got to make sure you're right spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, all of those things, y'all. You got to take care of yourself. Self-care is very important. Some people forget because they're so busy focusing on doing things for other people. It's nothing wrong with that. Remember, it's nothing wrong with helping people, putting people before yourself at times. But how are you going to do that if you yourself ain't right? Right? It's not going it's not going to effectively work. The most high God brought us here to do these things. But just like it said in that scripture, your body is a temple. So you have to take care of it. Physically, spiritually, mentally. Right? So let me say this when it comes to that. There's a couple things I got to say, man. You got to be out of sin. You can't be in sin. Because every time you continue to sin, y'all, and you're not living this lifestyle full of repentance, nothing good comes from it. You're building up this barrier. You got this blockage from you and the Most High. The Most High, he's the creator, right? He's the one who provides for us. He's the one who gives us grace so that we can continue to move forward and even be able to serve. It's all him. That's why we bring everything back to him. We always give him the glory. That's why you don't neglect yourself or your relationship with him while you're doing these things. But you are doing it if you're in sin. Right? You're neglecting yourself and the most high God when you're in sin. Because when you're in sin, y'all, you're allowing demons to enter your life. That's not taking care of yourself at all. You're neglecting the relationship with the most high God as well. When you're in sin, God don't hear your prayers. That's all in scripture. Are y'all meditating in this word, man? God don't hear your prayers. He's going to laugh at you when you come to him in those times of need because you're living wicked. You're still in sin. You're not repenting. But that's just the thing, y'all. A lot of people don't want to because they feel like they're missing out on something. They feel like that those pleasures that they're getting is going to maybe last forever. No, no, it won't. The devil going to come collect. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. That's why he wants people in sin. That's why he make things look good, sound good, so that you can be receiving those pleasures for just a certain amount of time. For example, like with Diddy. Y'all see what's going on with P. Diddy right now, right? Oh, yeah. You best believe he made that deal with the devil, doing a lot of evil, wicked things. It's all coming out. But the devil, he going to come back when he's done with you or he's coming back. And then everything going to be exposed. Also in the scriptures, what's done in the dark is going to come to light. All right. So I just had to put that in there, man. You got to get out of sin, y'all. And you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Any stronghold that you're dealing with, any addictions you may be dealing with, that can, that can go. It can go. But you have to put forth the effort. You have to count on the main source every single day to do it for you. Ain't nothing impossible when it comes to God, y'all. He could do anything with anybody, but it's up to you to rely and depend on him, which is the first and the greatest commandment with your heart, your mind and your soul. You got to crave it in order for you to change. But it's necessary because your soul is on the line. Right. Your soul is on the line. That's very important because what we do here, we either go into heaven or hell after this life. So we're here to serve most definitely. We can't be lazy. We got to use our gifts and talents to serve. But you can't be in sin while you do it. You got to take care of yourself. You can't neglect yourself or a relationship with God. Physically. Come on, y'all. Get yourself a workout plan. Get yourself a workout plan. Go for it. Go for some jogs. Go for some runs. Go for some walks. Take care of your body. Eat right. Eat healthy. All right? Mentally. Got to take care of yourself mentally as well. Positive thinking. Continuously protecting your peace. Because if you're not protecting your peace, if you can't think straight, if you can't protect your mind, ain't no way you're going to be able to help other people. It ain't going to work. I feel where I'm getting at with this, man. There's a lot of exercises that you can do to work on your mental, to work on your physical, to work on your spiritual, 
But faith is dead without works, y'all. We can't just pray for things. We can't just pray all day. Prayer ain't going to allow these things to fall into your lap. You got to work. You got to work for this, man. Faith is dead without works. They dead without works. Right? Come on, y'all, man. You really don't want it if you're not trying. You don't want it. You don't have a heart for it. And if you don't really have a heart towards using your gifts and talents, bettering yourself so that you can also bless others when you become blessed from the most high, then you don't really care. Why are you here? I'm going to be honest. Why are you here? And not to sound harsh, because some of y'all may be confused on what your purpose is, on what your gifts and talents even are. I was there. Most definitely. I was there for a long time. But it wasn't until I isolated myself. Some of y'all got to be alone sometimes. You feel like you got to hang with people all the time. You got to be alone sometimes. Take care of yourself. You got to pray without ceasing. Every day you got to talk and communicate with God. You got to read your word. You got to feed this Holy Spirit. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to self-reflect. See what needs healing and isolation. And isolation, y'all, that's where you grow. That's where you get to know yourself more. Opportunities to become closer to God more because you ain't got no distractions. It's just you and him. You and the Father. Isolation is not for you to be in will for sin, but in order for you to be transformed, if you take it seriously, then I'm telling you, when you be transformed, now you know. Ain't no turning back. Ain't no going back to those toxic things. You're not going to be perfect. Sometimes you will fall short, right? But you get back up, though. You get back up because you know who on your side. And also in the scriptures, when a man falls seven times, we get back up, y'all. We never give up because we, we got the Messiah who is our Lord and Savior, who died for our sins, who gave us that victory, right? So we do these things for him. We be that example of Christ, being this light, using our gifts and talents. But we got to take care of ourselves, man. Self-care, y'all, self-care. You got to set boundaries. Y'all got to also remember that not everybody, and I said this before, not everybody going to be pleased with you. Can't please everybody. It is impossible to please everybody. That's going to lead to frustration, exhaustion. You need to just focus on living a life that is in alignment with God's will, regardless of what other people think about you. It's only what God says. What he says, what he thinks about you, that's what matters. Not the opinions of other people. That's what some of y'all are going wrong at. You're so worried about what other people are going to say. You're so worried about what other people think about you. Who cares, man? Just do your part. And you do your part by focusing on what God has for you. Allowing his will to be done. Everybody should live their life like that. Everybody should live their life like that. Wanting God's will to be done. But we live our lives authentically and uniquely because he made us all different. You feel me? You can't please everybody. You're going to stress yourself out, man. You are going to stress yourself out. It's not going to work. You got a lot of people out here, y'all, who literally every day, they ain't got nothing else better to do. Every single day, man, just hating on people. Watching other people's lives, being jealous, praying for their downfall. Just because they see them working hard, Getting those blessings because they're doing what they got to do. But they be mad at them for it. That's crazy. But that's the type of world you're living in. That's why you can't, you can't live your life trying to please everybody. Just serving people. Pleasing God. That's what it's about. You use your gifts and talents. You put people before you. You serve people not to please them, but to please the most high God. You helping them for sure. You helping so many people. You're showing love. That's what God wants us to do. That's how God wants us to live. But you just got to keep that in mind, y'all. That's going to protect your peace. I'm telling you. Stop caring about what everybody thinks. That is going to protect your peace. Please believe me. Who cares? They didn't create you. The Most High God did. They not providing for you like the Most High God can. Y'all feeling me, man? It's all about pleasing God, man. Not people. 
Don't be a people pleaser. Be a God pleaser. Somebody put that in the comments. For me. I'm not a people pleaser. I'm a God pleaser. Yes, sir, indeed. Let's bring out some more scripture. They tell us in Galatians, carry each other's burdens. And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Right? So we need to find a healthy balance between serving other people and caring for ourselves. It is important to prioritize self-care and boundaries while still maintaining a heart of service towards other people. Y'all get what I'm saying? You have to have a balance while doing these things. You're not going to be able to do these things effectively if you're not taking care of yourself. You're not going to be able to do these things effectively if you don't have a deep, real, intimate relationship with the Most High God because He is the one who has given you that wisdom, right? Giving you that strength, giving you that full armor, everything that you need to do it effectively. But again, I got to go back to it. You can't do all of those things in sin. You can't do all of those things with a selfish heart, right? You can't be selfish. And you can't do those things expecting something back in return. That's another one. That's how a lot of people are living out here these days. Doing things, if they're not expecting something back in return, they only doing it for that money. And the scriptures, man, can't serve two masters. Can't chase both God and mammon. Mm -mm. You can't chase both God and money. You got to pick one. Chase God. What is God? God is purpose. So that means you're chasing your purpose as well. And your purpose includes what? Serving people. Showing love, doing those acts of kindness, using your gifts and talents. But you're doing all of these things, not to please people, but to please God. Are y'all hearing me? It's going to protect your peace. And you're going to crave it that much more. Because you know you're on the right path, that divine path that God got you on. Helping so many people change the world, not caring about what people think about it, but what God thinks about it. Right? Right? People here, man, they're not going to bless you like God can. Can't nobody bless you like God can. The love and the joy and the peace, it goes beyond understanding. We can't even think about it, y'all. The Most High God is very mysterious, and he works in ways that we'll never be able to truly understand. We can't 100% understand God, but that's where the faith come in. Your faith got to be strong on this journey when you're doing these things, right? Because also... We're talking about pleasing God, right? And not others. In the scriptures, you can't please God without what? Faith. Can't please God without faith. And what is faith? Believing in things that you can't see. Right? Can't see God. But it's up to you. Right? It's up to the things that you do in the sense of experiencing his presence so that you can feel God, though. Can't see him, but you most definitely can feel him. But we got free will. Plenty of things that we can do every day, y'all. But that's just the thing. Like, if you don't really have a heart for it, I'm going to be honest with you. It, it ain't going to work the way that it can. Because you're not doing it wholeheartedly. That's why in the scriptures, man, when God see you doing these things like wholeheartedly from the heart, you trying to seek him, he going to reward you, man. He going to bless you and you going to find him. Seeking ye shall find. Right? And I'm telling you, man, when you find, you find yourself, you find the most high God. It ain't nothing like it. That's a mean combination right there. You're going to be able to do so many amazing things, man. Y'all need to stop feeling like y'all not worthy because other people is not pleased with what you're doing. You are worthy because God made you and he got you here for a reason. Enough said. Talk to me in these comments. I'm worthy. Talk your talk. Speak positive things about y'all selves, y'all, because a lot of people don't want to give y'all these compliments because they either hating on you or they don't like where they at in life. So sometimes, y'all, we got to just say things out loud to ourselves to keep our energy right. In the scriptures, life or death comes of the power of the tongue. We got to watch what we say. Also, we got to watch the things that we listening to and what we're watching, protecting the eye gates and the ear gates. Right? Because that affects us, y'all. A lot of things affect us. What we eat, what we look at, what we listen to. That's all about self care. Going back to that word self care. 
taking care of yourself so that you can help other people effectively. Not trying to please them, doing these things to please God, but showing those acts of kindness. That's what it's about, man. That's what it's all about. Come on, y'all. Y'all all got gifts and talents. It don't make sense for God to bring you here with no gifts and talents because God is love and God is purpose. So you're here for a reason. You have to find it. You can. If you don't know what it is, don't give up on yourself, man. Don't give up on yourself. But again, you got to crave it. You got to do these things every day. You really got to have a heart for it, y'all. Or you're not. I mean, you really don't want it if you're not trying to go out of your way and also step out of your comfort zone. Oh, yeah. You're trying to please God. You're going to be uncomfortable sometimes. You better believe it. You better believe it. It's just like when it comes to that word comfortable. For example, like when you're reading your word, it ain't always comfortable, is it? Especially if you're in sin. That's because you're feeling convicted. You're feeling convicted. That's what the word do. That's what the Holy Spirit do. It make you feel convicted so that you can turn away from those things that's not glorifying God. That's why God gave us this Holy Spirit to help us. To also give us power also in the scripture. So while we doing these things, y'all serving people, pleasing God, helping people out of love and doing these things, using our gifts and talents, we need to do it operating with what? That Holy Spirit. We want that to overflow. I say it all the time. We need the Holy Spirit to overflow every single day. Keeps us out of the flesh. Keeps us with that guidance. Keeps us with discernment. Protection. What? So much power. Let me give you one more scripture to tell you how important it is to operate with this Holy Spirit and to not disrespect it. It tells us in scripture that God won't forgive you if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. He will not forgive that. That should put a stamp on it right there. That's why I was like, we do these things operating with the Holy Spirit. We got to stay out of sin. Got to stay out of sin, y'all. We can all do this. You woke up to this truth. You did that. It happened for a reason. That's a miracle that you woke up to this truth. A lot of people not on this path in the scriptures. This is a narrow gate. Only a few people find this. Take advantage. Take advantage of that. Stop wasting time. Time is very valuable. Very valuable, man. Every single day, we got time to become better. Every single day, we have time to forgive people, to heal. Every single day, we got time to help somebody. For that's why we're here. Y'all feel me? But you got to take care of yourself. Can't neglect yourself. And you can't neglect this relationship with God. Let me go over these points again, y'all, so we can really sink in up here. Finding balance. Putting the people first without people pleasing. First point. I say we need to understand that pleasing God should always be the priority, right? Pleasing God. That's the priority. Number two, set boundaries. Set boundaries and prioritize self-care. Number three, remember, not everybody is going to be pleased with you. That's impossible. Keep that in mind. That's going to protect your peace. All right. And number four, you need to find a healthy balance between serving others and caring for yourself. That's how you're going to be able to do it effectively. Right. And I'm telling you, man, when you're really doing these things every day, y'all, your mind start to change. You start to move differently. You're growing closer to God. So it's like, man, it ain't nothing but amazing things that come from that. Right. Yes, sir. Indeed, man. If you're still here and you ain't smashed that like button yet, what you waiting on? Hit that thing for me. Share this video if it's on your spirit. Subscribe to this boy. Subscribe to your boy for Sonya your spirit. I highly appreciate everybody who's still here, man. I thank all of y'all for y'all support. I really do. I thank y'all so much, man. Y'all really keep me going. The likes, the comments, y'all really keep me going. Appreciate you. I ain't done. There's two more things that I like to do in my outro. The first one is to give y'all an opportunity to say something out loud. I do this every video because you never know. You may have never said this before, but it's all about receiving the real victory which is ending up in eternity 
with the most high God. I'm not forcing you to do this, but this is an opportunity, right? Come on, repeat after me. I believe Jesus is the son of God. I believe he died for my sins. I believe he rose from the grave and is now in heaven with our heavenly father. And I want him to be Lord of my life. Clap it up for yourselves. If you just said that out loud, I'm so proud of you. The most high God is so proud of you. The angels in heaven, they so proud of you. They so proud, they up there turned up right now. They having a party. It's a party going on. It's lit up there. Be proud of yourself. Keep that energy. Our enemy, the devil, he heard what you said. But there's nothing he can do. He ain't got no power over you. Not on this side. All you got to do is depend on God with your heart, your mind, and and your soul. We talked about that today. Just please God. He got you. He going he gonna to help you on this journey. Also, you got to slice and dice with these scriptures. Every day, feed in that Holy Spirit. We want that to overflow. And continuously, and we talked about this today, use your gifts and talents, man. Stay on your purpose. Have tunnel vision. That's why you're here, right? So I'm going to tell you again, I'm so proud of you. And I'm also need you to say this out loud as well. I'm going to get the victory. I'm going to be victorious. Yes, sir, indeed. Now, the last thing that I like to do before I go is to just give y'all three more things. You understand me? So slice and dice, gang. Everybody, bring it on in. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm a need. Oh, I'm going to need y'all to have a nice. I'm a also need y'all to have a blessed. But as far as your blessings, have you asked God for them? I keep telling y'all I do every day. I'm talking about asking God for every blessing that he got for you today. If you ain't did it yet, go for it. What you waiting on? He wants you to receive them. Cardo do. You best believe I do. So it's only right you do. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, and I got... Just one more thing for you, and that's to have a B E A beautiful day. Yes, sir. indeed, you feel me. I sure hope so, everybody, man. Peace out. God bless. And please remember, it's okay to serve others, putting the people before you, but not to please them. You're doing all of this to please the most high God. But in order for you to do that, you can't neglect yourself. You have to take care of yourself. And you can't neglect building your relationship, growing closer to the main source, our Heavenly Father. All right. Peace out, everybody. Continue to use your gifts and talents. Slice it and dice it with these scriptures. Praying for yourselves, but not just for yourself. Praying for your brothers and your sisters out here because prayer works. And also, bringing more people to the kingdom. I'm out of here.